Hey everyone, Daniel from Twin Bytes with another tutorial for you. This time we're going to be talking about Proton VPN. So first of all, you might need a VPN if you want a secure connection online so it masks your IP address so nobody can see where you're actually coming from and also encrypting your data so anything you do online is encrypted and it just looks like garbage to anyone else that might be trying to view it. So if you're one of my existing clients or somebody that used uh, VPN through the Avast Cloud Care, it came with the VPN included. Um, but now that we've upgraded to a more robust antivirus solution, it doesn't come with a VPN. So you would have to pay extra for that through the same service, or you can get something free like through Proton VPN and it does offer some paid additions but we're going to go through that here so we're on their website here and you'll see there's a button to get proton vpn free and you've got the option to upgrade here or go with the free one so we're going to go with the free one here and walk through the wizard so the first thing that you need to do is create an account so we're going to do that here you would click on start using Proton VPN once you got your email address in there and it goes through creating your account and it generates a password for you. So you'd be able to copy that by hitting the button at the end there to copy the password into your clipboard and you can continue with that password unless you wanted to click to choose my own password. You're then presented with a button to download the software right from here, which then takes you to another page where it has another button to download Proton VPN. Once you click that, you'll have the option to save the file and run it. And once the file is downloaded, you can open it and start running the installation. You can start by choosing your language and hitting OK and just follow the prompts. If you're not sure, you can usually just accept all the defaults and just hit next all the way through and it's perfectly fine to do that. Personally, I chose to not install Proton Drive because it's some extra software that you don't need for this purpose. It's just another service that they're trying to promote to you at the same time. You're then prompted to fill out your username and password for your account that you created earlier and sign in. I'm going with the option to not start this every time the computer starts automatically because I may not want this on all the time. It took a few seconds for this to load at this screen initially so you got to have a little bit of patience before you see this screen appear where you can then start taking the tour, which is always a good idea to get familiar with it. Or if you're already pretty comfortable with navigating certain things like this and figuring out on your own, feel free to skip it. But this walks through the tips and you can just click on next tip and it walks you through each of the tips that are important to just get started. You'll see a map of some options that you can choose from if you want it to specify where you want to connect to, but that's only available for the paid edition. If you're going with the free one, you're very limited in options as you can see here. You'd be able to click on Quick Connect and it's going to connect to the closest server that's available for free and you'll see it connect there in a moment and it tells you where it's connected to. It gives you a bit of a chart, some information, you can see the speed and that sort of thing. But what we're going to do is uh, go on a speed test site and see what the difference is in speed with the VPN connected and not connected. So looking down at our system tray, we got the icon for Proton VPN. And when we click on it, it says we're not protected currently because we don't have it turned on. So it shows our IP address and the quick connect button. I'm going to ignore that and do our test without the VPN on. So we can see that our speeds climbed up to over 600 megabit per second download with over 30 megabit per second upload speed. So we're going to go down here, click on our icon, and we're going to hit Quick Connect. It takes a moment to connect to it. 
Now that it's connected, it gives us our fake IP address through that server. So we're now protected and let's do another speed test. So you can see here now we've lost half of our download speed, more than half, but we haven't lost anything with the upload. So it makes a big difference here. We're taking a huge hit with the VPN turned on, but still getting 282 megabit per second download speeds with the 30 up still, I wouldn't be complaining at all about that. That's still some amazing speeds for what I need. And depending on what you're doing, if you're downloading that much data on a regular basis, then yeah, it's gonna slow you down downloading the data. But normally you're not sitting there downloading all day. So you're gonna need to decide on what's more important and maybe you don't wanna have the VPN turned on all the time, but you can at least turn it on when it's important to do so. We can go in here to open the VPN and you can view the details of it and it shows you um, a map with some detail about the speeds for your download and upload volume and speed and some other information over here with the countries and profiles that you can set. Of course, a lot of this is only available to you in the paid version, so you are gonna be limited, but if you wanna get your full bandwidth back with this turned on, then you need to pay to upgrade and then they'll unlock the filter so that you'll have the full capability of getting that download bandwidth. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you did find it helpful. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Even better, give it a super thanks. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.